What's up, guys? We're back with our final Dark Souls 3 episode. Finally it. And uh, I'm back here in Firelink after getting the last Lord of Cinders, so now I'm going to go put... I'm going to go return the lords to their thrones. Yep. And then after this, you fight... To who? The... Kiln. Of the first flame. You'll see. Yeah, so at this point, we already we have all the Estus, all of the... Uh, I think we're missing one Estus shard. No, we got them all. Really? At least I got all the It's 15. Oh, I need to go use my last one then. Yeah. Why can I not put this one on? Probably oh, trying to put the wrong one be... on. Whoa. All that, so all that's the shards, all the bone, undead bone shards. I'm gonna go get that last that's the shard real quick. Or I mean, I have it, I haven't given it yet. Did you just consume all those souls, or what'd you do? What do you mean? Oh, I, I consumed them. There's no reason I didn't need any, um, any of their stupid weapons. Pretty be careful. Yep, I got uh, I got the achievement, Ultimate Estus. So 15 plus 10, that's where we're at. I got 11 mana for health. For health? I I don't I couldn't play like that. Well, I have a heal spell. I just like dying. Okay, it should Whoa. be all of them, and the firekeeper's moving into the th two. The bonfire. The five yeah. lords Easy. all thanks to Ashen One. With, and let the lords a true lord. That's pretty shitty. Here we go. Cutscene. Kneeling in front of the five lords. And the old one is still alive. You mean, he was alive. Noble Lords of Cinder. It's burned up. It's funny, after you, uh, since he burns up, you can just go to his throne after and you're still able to do the transposing. Yeah. You know, it's, I had a, I didn't have um, the little thief guy die. Whatever his name. Oh, what the hell? No, Susie never sent him on the third mission. Oh. Firekeeper talking to you. She's dousing my head with the ashes. <laughs> Let him grant death. To the oh, old I'm waiting for you. So I'm gonna go kick this guy's ass. At the kiln of the first flame. Can't summon John, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. no, you just uh, go out like the normal Firelink exit. Ooh, look at that freaking sun. I'm being teleported. Yeah. All right. This is it. Last part. All right. Last part. Last ball. Here's John Summon. Let me get him right now. 
Now there's what four different endings? There are four, yes. And I did the darkness one in my first playthrough, and we're doing the what they call the true ending, which is where you get the eyes of the firekeeper and summon her. Or you can do the stupid ending, like what I did. And don't summon the firekeeper, and <laughs> nothing good happens. Yeah. Uh, of course you did. This is a heavy PvP area. Just go into the door. You don't want to fight him? Alright. Eh. Yeah. Fuck right. him. See ya. <laughs> How is he hurt? Maybe is that one of his... Oh, uh, does he have like a buff? Are you sure it's... Okay, come up here, John. There he says critical event hasn't started yet. There we go. See ya, loser. I wonder <laughs> how this guy reacts to fire spells. Okay, already starting strong. I'm coming, Corey. The first part's pretty easy. Did you um, remember memorize his different weapons? Yeah. That's why I let him hit me. I can stagger him. I don't know why. I guess he can heal if you want to jump to me. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Calm down. I found this guy very hard so low. So you need to watch out. I was taking... He has two forms. His he has first. like four forms. Well... He has two parts then. Yeah. Is that not a stagger? Oh. Yeah. Oh, run! Run away! He's gonna explode! I think you're far enough. <laughs> now, this is where he goes ham. Oh! Fuck! Oh! Damn, I always fall for that. That lightning spear you get if you uh, turn in his soul. You also get a sword if you turn in his soul. Uh, I did not see that. You missed that? Oh, God. I mean, I still have the soul, I just, I didn't see that, I guess. Pretty good sword. Oh, watched out. Oh, God, he always does this to me. Ugh. And it is so much better with two people. Alright, Corey, you want the last hit? Too bad. We did it, John. <laughs> and that's the final boss. It's actually pretty easy with two people. Uh, you know it's easy if Corey beats it on his first try. <gasps> How dare you. Now, if you're going for that true ending, make sure you summon the fire keeper and just don't walk up to the thing like there, I did. There's her sign. So there's a moment where you can kill her after this, and that that's like a third ending, but it, why would you do that? Yeah. It's almost like Dark Ending Part 2. <sighs> Corey, I have 1.1 1. 1 million souls on me. What is she doing? So... Uh, the All the endings are pretty obscure and don't make a lot of sense at least for someone who doesn't who's just playing the game to play the game yeah so in the true ending she's taking the ember and she's gonna let it go out to go into the age of darkness yeah which is like the opposite of what she's supposed to do you know mm -hmm. but you gave her the eyes and convince her 
but you're able to, which is interesting, like, because you're going to the Age of Darkness, but she also says, I don't know what part you're at, but she says that, you know, a new Age of Fire, I think it is. Well, eventually fire will come around again. Yeah. Apparently the world cycles between Ages of Dark and Ages of Fire. Which is kind of weird, because if you do the, if you do the, the terrible ending, which is the, what pretty much nothing happens, you relight the ember, um, and if you compare it to when you do it, like in the first game, in the first game, you just like totally get engulfed. And then in this one, you got like a little baby flame on you. So yeah. I'm guessing the flame is just getting weaker. Yeah, that's supposedly what's happening. And uh, you relinking it apparently will like restart the Age of Fire. Yeah, oh, or just prolong it. Oh, this is when I can kill her. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Do it's kind of cool because like everything gets like on your screen it just doesn't fade everything gets darker and darker to show and darker. you're going into fire the, achievement you're getting into the age of darkness which you got i mean for me it's like when you finally figure out you know what's kind of happening in the lore they're like oh yeah we're not making any more games yeah well it's different in that aspect because they just do different ages over and over again, you know? Well, I mean, this one, at least from when you... I don't know, this is like... I don't know. Let me skip this. Begin Journey 2 in current states? Nah, I will hold off on that. That's New Game yeah. Plus. I can start it later if I want to do that. Yeah, because there's DLC coming out. Oh, yeah. John and I will be... Revisiting this game for the DLC. You will be seeing more episodes of us. Yeah. But, yeah, it's supposed to come out in 2017, but it might come out earlier. So we don't know. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Oh, he has a... He drops a ring. That old guy. Did you see that? What, the, what the old guy? The skull ring. It, uh... Easier to be detected by enemies. Why would you want that? Okay, so you can get Sunlight Spear, 40 Faith Spell, which I don't have, or the Firelink Greatsword, which you need 20 Strength, 10 and 10 Faith as well. Which would probably be good for me, but I don't have the Strength requirements for that. What is my Strength? 16. Why do I have that much Strength and Dexterity? Probably get rid of that. Anyway. So that's the end of Dark Souls. Yep, we did it. We beat the game. Finally. Only, only took me like 37 hours. Granted, we were doing everything twice, but... Mm -hmm. We will be doing a review of the game soon, for those who want yeah. to see it. And, so, uh, check that out. Yep, yeah, that's it. See y'all. See ya.